What's up guys? Today we're going to be looking at a new product from Tick Performance, their all new billet short throw shifter for 93 to 02 Firebird and Camaro. So let's unbox this thing and take a look. If you guys are familiar with Tick Performance, then you may already know that they are the industry leaders in T56 and TR6060 transmission rebuilds and upgrades. And I can already tell by looking at this shifter that it is well developed and engineered. It is also 100% developed and manufactured in their facility in North Carolina. So let's talk about what makes this shifter stand out from all the rest. It's designed to have the shortest throw possible. The base is machined out of billet 6061 aluminum with a nice red anodized finish. It has high quality lifetime grease on bearing grade steel pivot points. It also features an easily rebuildable cartridge design. The centering springs are the strongest on the market which eliminate missed shifts. Included is a stainless steel shifter handle with 16 millimeter threads that won't tarnish and will accommodate stock shift knobs. Or you can use this Tick Performance billet shifter ball, which should feel great. Also and included is all the necessary hardware, which is also stainless steel. This shifter also utilizes a one piece reusable locking O-ring seal, which eliminates the use of silicone to meet the shifter to the transmission so there's no mess and this might be the only shifter i've seen anyway on the market with this feature you know when compared to like my previous mgw shifter that i was using or a hearse that i've seen or a pro 5.0 shifter they also offer these bronze shifter cup isolator bushings which help the shifter to feel more precise and more crisp when compared to the factory plastic one now that you guys know all of the details let's go get this thing on my trans am and try it out all right, so now I gotta take my center console out. So I'm gonna start with the two bolts, 10 millimeters holding in the front of the center console. There's one under the ashtray. There's two seven millimeter bolts here, and there's two 10 millimeter bolts back here. So we'll get the center console out, and then we'll take a look at the existing shifter. All right, so now that the center console is out, we can get to the shifter. The shifter boot retainer bolts, I had to cut this out so that this would fit through with this current MGW shifter. Don't mind all the wires. Some are for my electric exhaust cutout, some are for my two-step switch. So let's buzz all these little seven millimeter bolts out and uninstall the shifter. So a little piece of advice is I like to use hand tools when taking these bolts out of the shifter. Sometimes people use electric guns or impacts to take the bolts in and out. And what can happen is, is the threads in the aluminum transmission housing can get messed up and then you have to use a Healy coil. And uh, to avoid all that, I just like to use hand tools. That way I know that they're tight just enough. They're not loose, they're not over tightened. They're just enough to get the job done. And that way you don't have to deal with that issue. All right, now that we've got the old shifter off, we're gonna need to clean and prep this surface, get all this old silicone off, make sure none of it gets down in the transmission before we can put the new shifter on. So I'm gonna use a razor blade, to get all the silicone off, prep the surface. We already got the brass bushing isolator cup in the transmission. So we'll clean this off, get the new shifter on, we'll be good to go. The new shifter is in all bolted down. One thing I like to do is I like to use lock washers and regular washers on pretty much everything. Um, you don't have to do this. It doesn't come with them, but this is something that I've always done when it comes to, you know, installing shifters. And another thing I want to mention is that they machined a provision in the shifter handle so that it can just slip right on to the shifter. 
just slips right on put the bolts in tighten them down you don't have to worry about it again pretty nice piece let's get all the interior put back together so that we can take it for a drive all right so now that the new shifter's in all buttoned up looks freaking great shift knob looks really good that's a nice touch to the interior got back from taking the car for a drive shifter felt great nice crisp shifts real easy to find gears i beat on it you saw i didn't miss the shift i don't ever see myself missing a shift for this thing it feels great not too short a throw if you guys are ever in the need for anything aftermarket for your f body c6 gto pretty much any gm vehicle you guys got to hit up tick performance head to their website check out all that they have to offer i run their stage one t56 in my car and never never have any issues with it i also run their adjustable master cylinder never have any clutch issues always whenever i want to put it into a gear it goes right in that gear no problem so all you guys have to do is go check up their website check the link below for a discount code don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time